Hey, today we're going to be talking about vertical growing. Have you ever tried um, putting your garden up instead of across? Well, today's video, we're going to show you how to do. You're in the garden with Patrick. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to grow things vertically. So I have some beautiful plants here that I planted from seed. Actually, I got these from a local uh, library, the seeds, and uh, these are spaghetti squash. So I'm going to plant these, and again, squash plants are going to grow along the uh, ground, but you can grow vertically. You can pretty much grow anything vertically. I'm going to grow the um, squash, I'm growing watermelon vertically, I'm growing uh, cucumbers vertically, and uh, cantaloupe also. So. Uh, I'll show you those and what we're doing. So basically when we're doing any kind of vertical gardening, um, you can take your, whatever you have that will grow up. So again, sometimes uh, if you want to and you want to spend the money, you can invest in a tomato cage, something like this. And you can, for example, in this case, you could take um, maybe cucumbers and you can have one, two, three plants growing on your cucumbers, uh, growing vertically here. Um, or you can also, if you have chicken wire, you can use some chicken wire and you can put that along here. You can also purchase just these little stakes. And if you're going to grow something vertically, like maybe some peas, or again, you could grow one cucumber plant on something like this, or I'll, I might make a, a, a TP or something like that. Um, and again, also the inexpensive thing that you could do is, this is an old, um, <laughs> looks like a uh, uh, mop, probably. Um, that's what I've used these for. So when the mop is gone, you just take the mop off and then you can use this as a vertical growing um, also. So again, ba you, you decide what you're gonna use to do vertical growing. And um, I'll show you what I'm also using some other things that we have here. So. Um, so what we're going to do today, show you how, so I've, I have a, an old tomato cage that I'm using instead of, it's like a little triangle. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to use uh, these, again, I just had some leftover from, I don't know, I think this was from probably um, a, um, like some kind of a, maybe a, something that tracked, uh, you know, like a curtain or something like that. I'm not really sure what I have these from. Uh, but again, I always save things, especially something that's nice and hard and metal like this. So what we're going to do is I have the, the um, rack here where we're going to just kind of put this in between. So we're going to grow this way in front and kind of weave that in between. That'll give it a little bit solid foundation. I'm going to push this down into the ground so that it's nice and solid. And then we'll do this other one, the same thing. Put that through, weave it through. And put that through. So now what we have here is a pretty solid foundation for my plants to grow up. And uh, that'll support the fruit as I get higher. Uh, I'm going to run some wire a little higher here. You could use uh, either some twine or some uh, wire or gardening twine, something like that. And, uh, and then what I may do also, depending on how high and how well these do, I may take them also along the, the, uh, the wall here. So basically, once we've done that, we've done our um, vertical trellis here. We're going to just plant these. So I'm using... Um, some, my, my soil has been amended and we've done some, um, some videos on amending soil, but I do want to show you a little bit about uh, when we're planting these uh, particular um, plants. They're, they're very, very good as far as uh, looking for nutrition. So um, they're very heavy feeders and the heavy feeders like a lot of nitrogen and uh, so what we're going to use here is I'm going to use a, um, a fertilizer that is organic and what I'm going to do first is we're going to go ahead and uh, dig a hole here in the center and I'm going to dig it a little bit deeper than I normally would 
and then from the, when I get down to that depth here, I'm gonna just take about a, maybe about a tablespoon here. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm also gonna use some of my worm castings and I'm gonna put a handful of worm castings in that hole and then I'm just gonna kinda of mix that up and I'll show you a close up view of that on the next one that we do here. Then, as you've seen me do this before, we're taking these plants here and again, look at the beautiful root system that we have here. And these are about ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just gently separate these. And we're gonna take these two plants I'm gonna place these right here and just put that back in there. And now we got two of those plants there. We'll take another one here, same thing. Let me show you a close up view. Have you ever tried um, putting your garden up instead of across? Well, today's video, we're gonna show you how to do that. You're in the garden with Patrick. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to grow things vertically. So I have some beautiful plants here that I planted from seed. Actually, I got these from a local uh, library, the seeds, and uh, these are spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna plant these, and again, squash plants are gonna grow along the uh, ground, but you can grow vertically. You can pretty much grow anything vertically. I'm gonna grow the um, squash, I'm growing watermelon vertically, I'm growing uh, cucumbers vertically, and uh, cantaloupe also. So uh, I'll show you those and what we're doing. So basically when we're doing any kind of vertical gardening, um, you can take your whatever you have that will grow up. So again, sometimes uh, if you want to and you wanna spend the money, you can invest in a tomato cage, something like this. And you can, for example, in this case, you could take um, maybe cucumbers and you can have one, two, three plants growing on your cucumbers, uh, growing vertically here. Um, or <clears throat> you can also, if you have chicken wire, you can use some chicken wire and you can put that along here. You can also purchase just these little stakes and if you're gonna grow something vertically, like maybe some peas or, again, you could grow one cucumber plant on something like this or I'll, I might make a, a, a teepee or something like that. Um, and again, also the inexpensive thing that you could do is, this is an old, um, <laughs> looks like a uh, uh, mop probably. Um, that's what I've used these for. So when the mop is gone, you just take the mop off and then you can use this as a vertical growing um, also. So again, you decide what you're gonna use to do vertical growing. And um, I'll show you what I'm also using some other things that we have here. So, um, so what we're gonna do today, show you how, so I've, I have a, an old tomato cage that I'm using instead of, it's like a little triangle. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to use uh, these, again, I just had some leftover from, I don't know, I think this was from probably um, or, um, like some kind of a, maybe a, something that tracked, uh, you know, like a curtain or something like that. I'm not really sure what I have these from, uh, but again, I always save things, especially something that's nice and hard and metal like this. So what we're going to do is I have the, the um, rack here where we're going to just kind of put this in between so we're going to grow this way in front and kind of weave that in between that'll give it a little bit solid foundation I'm going to push this down into the ground so that it's nice and solid and then we'll do this other one the same thing put that through weave it through and put that through. So now what we have here is a pretty solid foundation for my plants to grow up and uh, that'll support the fruit. As I get higher, uh, I'm going to run some wire a little higher here. You could use uh, either some twine or some 
a wire or gardening twine, something like that. And, uh, and then what I may do also, depending on how high and how well these do, I may take them also along the, the, uh, the wall here. So basically, once we've done that, we've done our um, vertical trellis here, we're gonna just plant these. So I'm using um, some, my, my soil has been amended and we've done some, um, some videos on amending soil, but I do wanna show you a little bit about um, when we're planting these uh, particular um, plants, they're, they're very, very good as far as uh, looking for nutrition. So um, they're very heavy feeders and the heavy feeders like a lot of nitrogen. And uh, so what we're gonna use here is I'm gonna use a, um, a fertilizer that is organic. And what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and uh, dig a hole here in the center. And I'm gonna dig it a little bit deeper than I normally would. And then from the, when I get down to that depth here, I'm gonna just take about a, maybe about a tablespoon here. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm also gonna use some of my worm castings. And I'm gonna put a handful of worm castings in that hole. And then I'm just gonna kind of mix that up. And I'll show you a close up view of that on the next one that we do here. Then, as you've seen me do this before, we're taking these plants here. And again, look at the beautiful root system that we have here. And these are about ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just gently separate these. And we're gonna take these two plants. I'm gonna place these right here and just put that back in there. And now we got two of those plants there. We'll take another one here, same thing. Let me show you a close up view. All right, so we're taking this, we're digging a nice little hole. And then I'm gonna take my fertilizer, my organic fertilizer, about a tablespoon or so. And what I do is sprinkle that in there. And then I'm going to take a handful here of my worm castings, put that in the bottom. And we'll backfill that a little bit and mix that up. And then we'll go ahead and plant this plant here. You want to plant these along the same, maybe the same soil height as they were growing in. So I'm going to raise that up just a little bit and firmly press that in there. And we got another plant right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plant two more and we'll go ahead and show you the end result. All right, so there you see, we've got uh, two, four, six plants planted. These are spaghetti squash and these are gonna grow vertically. You can see how they're gonna grow up there. We'll show you the progress as we go along. Now, as we mentioned, you're gonna see all kinds of different ways of vertically growing your vegetables. So this again is just a, a rack that, uh, I think it's a retail rack and somebody had given it to me, they were gonna throw it away. It's just a metal rack and my cucumbers are gonna be rolling up on there. Uh, you've probably seen these kind of racks in your, maybe your kitchen that hold your spices. And that is, uh, Again, we had no use for it. And so we're repurposing that. I also made a uh, little um, trellis based on uh, the use of some like PVC here. So we have the green beans that are gonna be rolling up on there. Um, and then again, we have another one here. And then of course we have your basic tomato cages. I'm going to be growing my zucchinis uh, vertically also. As those get a little bit bigger, we'll show you how those go. And uh, that's pretty much how we're going to be doing our vertical gardening this year. And uh, hopefully uh, you're going to like the progress as we get along here. So again, if you have not subscribed uh, In the Garden with Patrick, uh, please hit that subscribe button and 
uh, like this page and share it with your friends if you uh, found something uh, interesting and you want to uh, continue to uh, show people how to garden uh, organically and simply. Until next time, happy gardening.